This is the third video. We're going to complete our complex map. So what we're dropping here is a fairly complex flat file. It's going to go into our input directory. We'll have a polling receive location set up to receive it, and we'll have to have a pipeline on that receive location. So what we've really done here is added now, I think, three receive locations. So here's an updated representation. We're actually going to have two receive locations. So in a prior video, what we had done is we had done a flat files for customers, adding new customers, but that had nothing to do with purchase orders. So right now, the only file we have that receives purchase orders, the only receive location, is called rloc PO schema in demo, and that receives XML purchase orders. And so that's represented right here. We're polling on XML files. The receive location grabs it. It runs it through the default XML pipeline that comes with BizTalk. At that point, it passes the XML basically through the receive port, and it says here, run any maps. And then if there are any maps, they execute, and then the data is sent to the subscribers here. Okay, so now what we're adding in this demo is we're going to receive and pull a text file, which will be our complex data purchase order text file. We'll build a new receive location. We'll build a new pipeline, tie that pipeline to the receive location. It will come into the same receive port. And then again, the receive port will have more than one map on it. And then it actually matches the signature of that incoming message to the proper map and then runs it. And then basically we'll send the file onto our output directory. So first thing to do is to deploy. No, actually, we have to build our pipeline. So in this project, we need to do a right click, add new item, click pipeline, receive, and we'll call this uh, PO flat file complex. And since we've already talked about pipelines in other lessons, I'm just going to actually just do this real quick. So we're going to take the flat file disassembler and simply pick the document schema here. Scroll down to the complex one, which is flat file purchase order complex. And at that point, we should be done. Let's just do a build on that. Waiting on it to build. Succeeded. So now we can deploy our whole solution again. Deplo uh, yeah, deploy solution. task is still running. I'm not pausing the video this time. This is real time. And it's taking just a minute or so. And now it's succeeded. So we see here, you can always double check how many projects did you expect to be deployed. And we have three projects. The map one, the schema generated, and then the other schemas that we coded ourselves. Okay, so at this point, we're ready to set up our pipeline. So we need to come here and refresh so that it'll be able to see the new pipelines we've created. And what we're going to do is add a receive location to an existing port. So we're going to come here, right-click new one-way receive location. And that says, what port do you want to add it to? Well, this would be the PO schema in. And then to name it, I want to name it similar to here. So the other one was Arlo PO schema in demo. Um, but this one needs to be the complex flat file. So I'm going to put FF complex, or I'll call it flat complex. Type will be file. We configure it, and we're going to give it the same directory name that we used in the other scenario. So if we come back over here, we have PO file in. I'll copy that directory name, paste it here, and this time we're only interested in txt files, not XML files. And now we have to set our pipeline right here, so now we should see our complex pipeline in here. So there it is, PO flat file complex, and we click OK. And we can go ahead and enable that. Now we have to go to our receive port and 
let's run it once without a map and show you what happens. So what we're going to do to make this work is we're going to come here and go to maps and we're going to add a new map. But I want to show you what happens first if we don't map it at all. So the other thing we need to do, of course, after deploying our project is to restart the BizTalk host. So now we're going to come to our input file and we're going to be looking for our text file here, which is our complex text file. And we're going to drop it and expect we will get some type of error here. So again, the best place, two places to get errors would be here, go to look for suspended messages in BizTalk Admin Console. And unfortunately, I still have suspended messages from prior executions, like from yesterday. So today's the 12th. So really, everything from the 11th, I should terminate here. Okay, so today we have one suspended. If I double click on it, we can see what the error is. It says, the context of the message associated with this instance contains all the promoted fields. That doesn't tell us much. So here, let's check, click here, open it. Still don't see the error. So to look at the error, actually here's the error description. The service instance exists to help debug, etc. The context of the message associated with the instance contains all, that doesn't really tell us anything. So let's go to hat instead. Health and activity tracking. And we'll do query the most recent 100 instances. You can see here, these are the things I terminated from yesterday. So what happened today is at uh, this time, 1224, we drop in the complex file. And if I uh, right click message flow, I'll be able to read the error message here. It says the published message cannot be routed because there were no subscribers found. This error occurs if blah, 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 blah. And so what happened here is basically it received a message and it, it, it said, well, there were no subscribers for that particular type of message. And that's because it was a complex message, complex flat file message, okay? And so nobody was looking for complex flat file messages. What we did earlier in our send ports, we created a um, some P three PO out output ports, but they're all looking for standard PO messages. So by changing and adding the map to the receive here, what we're doing is we're converting the complex flat file to the standard. And then once it's a standard order, we then will have subscribers for it. So basically here, you're going to pick from the list, and there it is, PO, com complex, flat file, etc. And then we're going to go drop the same file again. Go back to hat, see how it looks different. Okay, we, looks like we still have an error. Published message could not be routed because no subscribers were found. Okay, we got the exact same error. So to troubleshoot this, um, it does say use BizTalk Admin Console. So let's go back there again and go to the reports. And let's look at the uh, suspended messages again. And again, we'll terminate the one from three minutes ago. So this is the one I want to look at. And if we go to Messages and click here, this can tell us a lot about that particular message. Okay, I centered it on the screen to make it easier, easier to read. Uh, we see here it's a routing failure, and it says for PO schema N, this is where the file came from. So what I'm curious about is what is its context? What kind of file is it at this point? So here's the name of the file that got dropped, order complex text. So one question is, did I actually drop the right file? If we go over here and look at complex text, yes, that is the correct file. Uh, failed part names, activity. Okay, we 
receive location. So it did come to the right receive location. PO, schema, flat, complex, and demo. Receive port name, put to the right port. Message type. Uh, flat file complex. But it doesn't tell us really if it got mapped or not. I'm going to try one more thing. Since we changed the map, added the map to the receive port, I'm going to cycle the BizTalk host and see if that makes any difference. And what I'll do is I'll terminate right here all these. So we have an empty list of suspended messages there. Drop the file again. Back to hat. And we do have the same problem. Just to confirm that, right click message flow. Okay. Okay, so this was totally uh, Neil human error. I was getting confused between different demos we've done. And yesterday, or in a prior video on mapping, we, we used this mapping, uh, receive map demo in here. And that's where I added the, the map a few minutes ago. But where did we drop the file? We dropped the file in PO schema in. And PO schema in does not have any maps on it. So what I really need to do here to make this demo work is I need to drop the file not into PO file in but into map demo in which means a couple other little changes I have to make here. So our receive location I believe is wrong as well. So when I added a new receive location here that should be to map demo in. So we need to kind of rebuild this and I don't actually think we can switch a receive location to a different port. So I'm going to delete this receive location, which was just wrong. Uh, to, to delete it, we have to disable it first and then delete. So now I'm going to add a new receive location. At this time, I'm going to pick map demo in. Okay, and then I'll call it rloc. Um, that won't work either. Sorry. I'm just getting tangled up between too many demos. When we did the demos for the map demo in, we were actually reading, uh, no? I'm sorry. I think it will work. Okay. So, rarloc map demo in flat complex. So the file that we're going to be reading, we can just browse here, is going to be C colon BizTalk demos, BizTalk 2006 purchase order, and then map demo in. Now the thing we have to be careful here is that we don't put two star dot texts on the same file for different receive locations. So in other words, we don't have a map demo in star.txt yet. So this needs to be text, txt. And we need to put the pipeline on here, PO flat file complex. And then click OK. And then we need to enable that. So now it's going to receive that and map demo in, go through here, and then it's going to go to the port for map demo in, and there it should map it to standard purchase order. So now we'll go back here, map demo in, here's my complex file, I drop it, it gets picked up, we'll go back to hat and do a run query. And now it worked. So we see here at 12.37 completed, we received a file of the complex format. We can tell that because of the pipeline. And then it transmitted it somewhere. So if we go now and go look at map demo out, 
and then look at today the dates here. We have 11 November 12th at 1237 and if I open that here is my standard purchase order with the customer's date and then the uh, lawnmower and the baby monitor and everything else that he ordered. So we went through a couple little side steps there to get here, but uh, that's what happens when you kind of get confused between your ports. So hopefully the debugging will be helpful to you when you start doing your own real-world scenarios.